Welcome to the Four Listeners Program. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thanks for checking us out again this week. What up, everybody? I'm Spear. On the mics this week is the Z-Man. What's up, Z? The freaks come out at night. 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 Nice. On the other mic is the mighty Ganthor. What's up, Ganthor? Back on the rum. On the rum? Yep. Back on the rum. So we're, we're, we're done with beer? We're back to rum? Yeah, I quit buying beer and try and save money. All right. <laughs> well, you know, buy in bulk, get drunk faster. Well, it tells right? you how much a month I spend on beer. There so. you go. Z-Man, got a couple uh, of announcements, uh, we, right? Oh, yeah. A little house cleaning to do. House cleaning? Housekeeping? Housekeeping, house clean, yep. All right, first of all, let's do a little housekeeping. Um, announcement, we picked a date for the... Second annual for listeners final football fantasy football league. Jesus Christ, can you talk? I dude, it's been a long week. Fantasy football draft Wednesday, August 29th, 7 p.m. Um, still have open positions. I'm drafting all rookies this year. I'm drafting not Michael Vick this year. <laughs> yeah, that would be a dumb idea. I'm gonna name I'm gonna name my team now, not Michael Vick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, another plug uh, I want to shoot out for the guys at Tailgate 32. Uh, my boys are getting ready, getting fired up to start off the season. These are the guys doing all 32 teams. They're doing a home game at each team. Um, check them out, tailgate32.com for the schedule. If you're going to be somewhere where they're going to be, definitely come and see them. Um, I don't know how to get you to them other than maybe check out their Facebook page and uh, shoot them an email and they'll, they'll give you some more details. Wow. So plug in for that. And then um, this weekend I went down to the Comic-Con at, uh, in uh, Connecticut, the Connecticut Con. A um, lot of fun. It was crazy. I, got to, uh, I was in there as a vendor, so I got in early and got to go talk to a bunch of the, uh, the dudes. And I ended up meeting some du- this guy who does a podcast. We got chatting. And uh, so he does a zombie pa- podcast called The Zombie Cast. Um, if you want to check him out, that's where you can go find him. Uh, zombiecast.net. Cool. What do we got on tap this week there, Z? I'm going to keep rolling with it. So tonight, usually after gym night, I, uh, I have a, a nice relaxing evening. I, I get a nice salad, get a good big glass of water, sit down on TV, watch some shit television. Uh, I usually start off with the, with right now we're starting with uh, Snooki and Jenny J. Wow. Um, but uh, unfortunately that was reruns tonight, so we checked out a new program. Brought to you uh, from TLC, and we'll just go right in right now. That something needs to be done about TLC. There you go. Uh, the programming on TLC. Um, so TLC is the the guys who brought us the most amazing show, uh, Nineteen and Counting. Uh, you know they've given us Cake Boss, they've given us um, Hoarders, Say Yes to the Dress. Then they then they gave us they gave us Toddlers and Tiaras. And if you haven't seen Toddlers and Tiaras, the idea is. Uh, it's a documentary. I'm, I'm going to use documentary in air quotes here. Um, about the child pageant circuit. And you go in there and they just totally, what's the word when you um, take advantage of? Pimp. Pimp? No, not pimp, but. Uh, whore? Rape. Whore. Yeah, they basically just, yeah, they're, they're just, they're, their kids are just put out on display and just dolled up, you know, John Benet Ramsey style. Uh, not dead, but um, just. <laughs> Poured up, um, right. but uh, you know they're they're just it's, it's it's ridiculous things. They're doing these like slutty dances, and you see just and they're like in like the the like ballroom of the Ramada Inn, uh, you know, right off the highway ninety you know ninety six, um, and and it's just these big fat parents, and they're just like trying to like live like Harrisley through their children and have them do these like you know look all pretty while they while they can. And we so, have we have to be we have to we have to say this. These kids are like. Three, four, five, six years old. I mean, these I aren't. I think six is the oldest that they are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these aren't like like teen teen beauty pageants. These are these are toddlers. These are these are young kids that they're pimping out, all hence, dolled up to look like fucking. I don't know. Hence the name. Yes. Toddlers and Tiaras. Thank you, shithead. The, the 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 point is that this is exploitation. Exploitation. That was the word I was looking for, not pimps and whores. Well, I, you know, you say tomato, right? Sure, sure, sure. It's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. It's it's unbelievable the the slut dresses that they're making these little oh children my wear. God. The drama of the the fat, the parents in the training and then yelling at each other when they're like kids don't win and the the upsetness and 
and and everybody gets a participation trophy. But if you don't get the big trophy and the big tiara, then upsetness. Yeah, then you eat your sorrows away or something. I don't know. My whole thing with this is the the yelling from the parents. It's like oh, they, I love it. They're 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 ridiculous. I, I I really hope that they have money for lots of therapy. Oh, they don't have money at all. That's the best thing. These guys are just these are these are rednecks. I mean, rednecks. These are absolute rednecks. Gantor, what would you what would you do? I mean, I mean, does this sound like you have two you have two young girls that are of this age? Would you would you even ever consider subjecting your kids to something like this? Never, because you know there's only one career path that they end up with, and that's on the in the pole. sex industry. On the pole. Right. This is this is how you make prostitutes. Figurative and literal. This is how Spears' mom was raised. Oh wow. That's just. Uh... That's just me. Oh no! Can I can I, can I try that one again? No! <laughs> what do you mean you want to try it again? This is what Spears' mom's childhood was like. Get the fuck out of here! I think says I like it, that one, but that one plays it, better. Says it twice. Kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah, if you need to redo a mom joke. No, but it just it came to me as like, I was you, saying it. I was like, I, I had the wrong lead into it. You fucked up a dunk. You missed a dunk, dude. I did. I totally Can the bull team it. shut it's, the it's fuck a... up about this now? <laughs> so not right. So okay, we all we all agree this is a terrible show. Terrible. Now the only reason I know about this show is because I watch the soup, and the soup loves this show. I mean, they they <laughs> just get so much material from this that they they can't even put it all in. Like the app, <laughs> they have to cherry pick just the cream of the crop to to to, to just you know to show on us. But the the crazy part, and this is where 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 I was just watching, is there's a spinoff of the show. The show has only been out for whatever years. It's a terrible show, and it already has a spinoff. They, they 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 follow the life and times of one of the toddlers and tiaras, little honey boo boo child. Honey boo boo child. Little honey boo boo child. Little huh? Sorry. Now I don't even know how to describe the little honey boo boo child show. Now I've watched. I think I watched them all now, because I had to catch up on this. Little Honey Boo Boo Child is, she's six, she's this little blonde haired kid, and her mom is just this enormous woman who is self-described as Jabba the Hutt-like. You, you gotta see the number, for those of you who haven't seen this, you have to see the number of chins on this woman. She's just a talking thumb. Well, I'm gonna count, hold on. One, two, three, four chins. Hold on. In this week's episode... The one daughter, they went shopping at the supermarket, and they're obviously they're extreme couponers. They have they have an entire room just filled with toilet paper that they've gotten for free through extreme couponing. But the one girl, she found a jar of rust removal, right? Comes up and goes, "Ma, now you can get that dirt shit off underneath your neck." Oh. At which point they lift her neck flap, and you can see this giant brown ring. Where you know it's just like a place that she's just never washed. Oh. Yeah, that's what's on TV. That's disgusting. It's, it's, it's foul. It's absolutely just, just mind-blowingly disgusting. <laughs> oh, shit. So you gotta, you got to watch this stuff. you got to watch it. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I don't think I will. I, you know, I, but we, we've kind of talked about this kind of thing before. It's like you watch these shows to feel better about yourself. You know? Right. This is, this is the Jersey Shore effect. So I got. So I want to at least address this kid because this this kid this kid is damaged. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean, she's 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 this overweight, tubby little tubby little girl, and they submit her to to these beauty pageants, and her whole thing is to run around with her gut hanging out. Yep, she does that. Like doing doing like a belly dance, right? And she doesn't understand why she's not winning. Right, and the, and the best part is the best part is what she ends up saying. You got to listen to some of this. Hold on. I don't want it. I'm six and I'm a beauty queen. Those of us must be crazy if they think they're gonna be me, honey, boo boo child. What the fuck is that about? I don't know. So the other thing, the other thing with this boo 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 child, boo boo girl thing is that her her mother makes her this uh, this thing called go go juice. Oh, I didn't see this one yet. Right, Go Go Juice is a combination of like Mountain Dew, Red Bull, and like apple juice, which which sends her into a complete and utter tailspin. Like you can't understand this girl as it is. Then she starts bouncing off the walls crazy like, and then she breaks out this bon mot. Y'all fat y'all all day in a pack of crackers, but y'all not. You know that you ain't no faster than me. 
I have no idea what she just said. She's sitting in a cracker barrel bush. Something, something about crackers. Like I, so, I, no idea what she what she just said. Like she, you have to see this. She's running around with with the finger, like like three snaps in Z formation type of deal. And yeah, she does that a lot. Whew. Where do you come down on this, Ganther? You've been quiet. Oh, I, I'm trying not even to think about it. It's probably better off, right? Yeah, I just yeah. It bothers me. It bothers me that that these people are on television. It bothers me. It, it it truly does. It bothers me that these people are getting paid to be put on television. That's one thing, but, like, what the fuck? I mean, this is your child. Your child is never going to live this down. This is someone who is physically is just being totally exploited for being a moron because her mom signed the papers so that they can get more ho-hos. That's what it boils down to, doesn't it? Exactly. Like, what is this kid going to do? This kid can't get a job anywhere. All right, because she's she'll be honey boo boo child for the rest of she's her life. Always gonna be honey boo boo child, right? And how how much longer can you live off of honey boo boo child until the drug money runs out? I guess. I think you should just amputate amputate your like right knee and start getting into like amputee fetishes or something like that, and then people will forget your honey boo boo child. Well, you certainly have a boo boo at that point. <laughs> I mean, that, that kind of reinforces it. That's yeah, cool. I guess so. I mean, the only the only other way this ends is with the meth lab blowing up. I mean, that's it. Yeah, it's the only other way this ends. But here's here's the worst part. This isn't the worst of their shows for exploiting people. How, how could it possibly get worse? There's two other shows that are going on right now. So the worst of their shows, they're exploiting now Siamese twins. Siamese an, twins. Siamese twins. There's these two girls, Abby and Brittany. Um, I'm going to say they're probably about high school age. And now I've seen these people before. I've seen them on probably some – they had like a, a, a special just on them. But now they have a show – where you can sit there and stare and gawk at them um, as they do things that normal teenage kids do. So, so just 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 to complete the visual, it's they're conjoined, right? It's it's basically two heads on one body. Yes. And and the way they work is that one one head controls one side of the body and the other head controls the other side of the body. Yes. So they have to like work together in order to do basic things. Teamwork. Teamwork. Are you still talking about kids? No, no. These are these are these are conjoined twins. They're they're teenagers. Uh, Let me ask you this: Z, is the is the tenor of the show supposed to be uplifting? Like you're supposed to see these see these two I mean, girls, you know, I don't know, uh, beat the odds or overcome their challenges or well, what with, have you. With honey with, with honey boo boo chad, I'm sure that the point of the show is mockery. It's like holy shit, these people are fucked up. But with the with the conjoined twins, I'm sure it's a feel good story. Because I mean, if it's one thing to mock, it's one thing to mock the rednecks and and little fat girls. That's that is that's, repul- fine. that's repulsive in and of itself. To to mock the conjoined twins because that's what that's what their deal is. That that seems to be fucked up. I, I agree with that, and I think that they're going to take up. They'll probably take the high road on this and do it in some sort of educational manner rather than in a, in a mocking sort of manner. But but I mean, the, the same thing they did with the little the little people one is uh, you know it's it's not. Look, it's a freak show. It's hey, look, this is how these guys live, and these are the troubles they come up with. And here's the answers to the, probably the top ten questions that you have about dwarves. It's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be like your conjoined twins, your Siamese twins. How do you go to the bathroom? How do you decide who? You know, how do you go on a date? How do you make out with a boy while the other one's sitting there looking at you? I don't want to see that. I don't. I'm sorry. But you're curious, right? No, you're not curious? no, I'm not I'm curious. curious. Not in the least. I'm curious. So. Shit. If you were if you were finger blasting one, you would finger blast the other at the same time, right? The question is which yeah, one feels only, it. Only, yeah, exactly. Like which one is which one are you doing? Are you hitting them both, or are they uh, only one of them actually controls the uterus? Oh uh, no, I meant I meant both vaginas. No, there's, there's no, no no there's only one vagina. One no, no no I'm not no Corey. There's there's just two I heads. I don't know how they're conjoined. Fuck I'm, you. I'm I'm explaining. There are just two heads sitting on a body, so the only way you may be able to please the both of them is if you're giving them the shocker. One, wow. one has one has control of the anus and the other one's got the pussy. <laughs> that's, that's the only way I can think of doing it reasonably is if one 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 has one shoot, the other has the other, and you're giving them the shocker. I'm, wow. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's probably one of the topics that they're not going to go into. But it is one I'd like to know the answer. I I seriously don't, and I really don't want to see the uncomfortable the uncomfortable awkward thing that happens when you're making out with one head and the other one's just like staring at you. What do you do? Throw a blanket over her head or something like that? Yeah. It, or you get into it, and you know, the other one starts licking your balls or something. I don't know. But they, but you, but they, one can lick your balls while the other one's sucking your dick. That's a good point. That's true. That is true. I mean, I, yes. I, 
I don't. I'm trying really hard not to visualize this. <laughs> it's, it's all fucked up. I'm just figuring out, trying to figure out how this has not happened in porn yet. Well, maybe this is the gateway. <laughs> the sample size is probably really small. Yeah. Oh my god. It's pretty. It's pretty hard to fake that, and in, in, uh, if you wanted to try to with prosthetics. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Again, this show, pretty bad. There's one worse. Wait, hold on. Worse than Honey Boo Boo Child. Worse than the Conjoined Twins thing. Virgin Diaries. Virgin Diaries. Virgin Diaries is another one of these shows, and this one here, they are definitely gearing it up to make fun of these people. These are not, this is not educating you for the sake of educating you on some kind of weird uh, deformity or disease or something like that. This is virgins, and they go in there and talk about why they're virgins and what's, what's going on in their lives. So some of them say that they are um, voluntarily virgins, but most of them are like 35-year-old lives in his parents' basement. Clips of this somewhere. Oh, right. please watch the clips. Um, if you're going to do it, go start with stuff Skippy says. Skippy is definitely the rock star of the show. I'm pulling it up. So by the time I'm 24, I had gone on probably 200 first dates, right? And I started thinking about it. Okay, how many girls have I made out with, right? 200 first dates, the average date cost me about 40 bucks, right? And I can just like picture in my head be like, okay, so my lady walks into the room and we're kissing. So 200 times 40, $8,000 is what I had spent on first dates, right? But how many girls had I made out with? By the time I was 24, I had only made out with 11 girls. Now, you divide 11 into that 8,000, $727.27 per makeout. I, I finally get to touch your down there and you're up there with this thing, right? Okay. And then I'll get the text message saying, hey, we should just be friends. I'll be like, that girl's such a b This guy is wearing a t-shirt, by the way, that says virginity rocks. Well, that's his thing. He, he makes his own t-shirts. So he gets his girl to, go, to agree to go on a date with him, and he brings her down there into the, like, windowless basement, and he's, like, he yells up to his mom. It's just, like, it's, like, a stereotypical, like, dude living in his basement. And, like, then he gets a pizza, and he brings it down, and then he, like, hires his friend who's playing the guitar and, like, singing a song that he wrote for her. And she's like, yeah, I got to go. And then, <laughs> and then he gives her, like, the choice. Then they give her, like, he gives her, like, the choice of shirts. And he's got shirts saying, I made out with Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go on a date with this guy, get a t-shirt? That's exactly what his, his gimmick is. Oh my god. No wonder he's had X number of first dates. So, so are you, you're, on the, you're on the website, right? Yeah. Do you see the one that says practice makes perfect? Yeah. Click that one. <laughs> get on your swing. Can you get on it and then it go with me? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm 31, and I have never kissed a girl on the lips. Well, we've, like, joked about it before, like, oh, I really want to kiss you right now. Mm. Oh, nope. <laughs> You're too cute. <laughs> We're saving our first kiss for our wedding, and a lot of people are just, like, shocked when they hear that, like, really? Is that hard to do? As if no one ever does it. Well, I... No, no one ever does it. No one Nobody ever does, ever does it. it. This guy, this guy not only is a virgin, but he's never kissed this girl? Yeah. And, and she's okay married. with that? And they're getting married. And they're getting married. Hold on, keep going, keep going. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll come into the room, uh -huh. and, and we'll I'll take have a we'll surprise take... waiting for you. Yeah, but I'll have a surprise waiting for you, and we'll have our robes on, and we'll slowly take our robes off, and then do and foreplay. Kiss. And then do foreplay. This dude's gonna blow his load in <laughs> two point two seconds. <laughs> Dude, I'd do that, and I'm not a virgin. So. He's, he's going to see a half of a tit, and it's going to go boom, all over the rope. Yeah, but you know what his refractory period's like? It's probably like 15 seconds. <laughs> well, he's gonna, For another one second, and boom. He's got to be so backed up. Hold on. Are, are you still... There's still more, right? Yeah. yeah. Keep following, please. Okay. Just like waiting, and then all of a sudden, you may not kiss the bride, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's time. i got to get ready, and i got to do this. <laughs> that, kid, the kiss? that kiss was the most awkward thing I ever did. He's like, he ate her face. So this this here this kiss was like a YouTube clip of the worst kiss because I saw this thing a long time ago, and then they came back and made this show. I think these were the inspiration to do the show. Oh my god, dude! He, he like he, eating each other's face. He ate her face. He ate her face. <laughs> and that was their first kiss. Oh my god. 
so so this show here so they go into this other one there's like a 36 or there's a there's a lot of 40 and 50 year old virgins that they're like they get like their entire family together and they're like having a party and like i have a, a surprise to tell everybody i'm a virgin and they're like they're waiting for like a big round of applause for everyone and everyone's kind of looking around like okay now what <laughs> uh we kind of we probably could have guessed that and they're like they're making a huge deal out of this stuff was it like anyway, coming out of the closet? I mean, that's exactly what it felt like. It's like she was about to tell him that she's a lesbian. I'm sure that's what everyone thought she was going to tell him. All right. You got to watch this shit though. It's so painfully awkward and amazing. I don't know, man. These shows depress depress the shit out of me, you know? I mean, I I I can I can uh, like that that clip, that clip in and of itself. I, I, my jaw was on my my jaw was on the floor. It's like Can I show you one more? Yeah. Skippy's workout machine. The furthest I've gone with a girl is I've felt and I've been felt, but overclothed. This really is burning. When I'm in that, let's do this moment, I usually go, ah, ah, no thing, ah, ah. That was a visual that I wish I didn't, I wish I didn't have. You, you, let me start, let me paint the picture for those of you who have who, who not have seen this yet, and please, please go to TLC uh, website and and check this out. Oh my god! He's on a vibrating machine, one of those things where you're supposed to like shake your body weight off and like have that tone your body, and he's using a shake weight while on it. And they're shooting him from behind, so you see his ass basically shaking while he's shaking his fist very fast. And there's like a treadmill in the background too, which he's obviously not using. Oh. God, you watched this? I love it. Oh God, no, no. Okay. <laughs> let's wrap. Let's wrap this thing up. What did we learn? What did we, I? I. I. I don't know. What did we learn, Zeke? We learned that Jersey Shore is not the worst program amen, on TV. Amen to that, brother. Oh God. Oh, uh, Gantor. What did you learn? I can't say I learned anything tonight. I'm sorry. I. You know what? I'm actually dumber after this show. I, I, you know, I was about to say the very same thing. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. I, I feel like I want to unlearn things. Oh my god! Um, so if, so if you've ever watched TLC, and you want to say something about it, why don't you go ahead and post it on the Facebook page? We will automatically unfriend you. <laughs> Because I, I don't want to know you. Go ahead and post it on the Facebook page. Facebook.com slash 4Listeners or 4Listeners.com. Uh, check out the show on Stitcher Radio or on iTunes. Just search for 4Listeners. And we'll pop right on up. Uh, fantasy Football Draft this week on the 29th of August. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and let us know that you want in on the Facebook page. Still have some positions open. We thank you for checking us out this week, and we hope that you will check us out again next week. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Come on now.